Say you need a heart, and the best place to get you one is from a pig. Strange as that sounds, scientists are actually working on this. It's called chimerism, basically creating animals that carry human organs grown from human cells. So let me show you how it works. First of all, you take an animal embryo, usually a pig or a sheep, edit its DNA so that it cannot grow a certain organ. That is the organ you want. So let's say a pancreas. Then you add human stem cells and the human cells, what they do is they move in, take over the empty slot and start building a human compatible organ inside the animal. So as it grows up, it's gonna have a human compatible organ ready for harvest. Why go to these extremes? Right now, people are dying every day waiting for organ transplants that never come. If we could grow hearts, kidneys, or livers tailored for each patient, we could virtually end the organ shortage. Now, nature, just like any other mother, doesn't take well to defiance. So what often happens during these experiments is that you start out with the human organ, but over time, the animal's natural DNA begins to take over. And then you have an organ that's mostly pig and partly human. And then there's the ethical debate. What if human cells get into the brain and the central nervous system? You see, now you've got a pig with a human consciousness, a pig man. And since it's technically human, you can't just steal its organs, but it's basically got human rights. So now you've just ruined its life for no reason. But all that aside, I think it'll be very interesting to see how far this actually goes. But what do you think? How far are we really willing to go just to cheat death? Subscribe for more.